How's it going, everybody? Ace Wilcox here. And I'm back to do Ace Answers All Part 6, or as it's now known as Ace Answers Again. And I want to thank everybody who has uh, written in some really great questions that I'm going to ask. And I figured, you know, what better place to do the sixth and final Ace Answers All video than in the middle of my... NASCAR room. <laughs> yeah. Many years of collecting. And uh, also, seeing as how this is the last Ace Answers All video, I'd like to say please be sure to go and check out my other series uh, called Ace's Opinion. Uh, and a new video is going to be coming soon as well. So, let's, uh, let's get to the questions. The first question is, what is the best thing to ever happen to you so far in your life? And I would have to say, right now, the best thing that's ever happened to me is I got to meet my favorite NASCAR driver, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and uh, had a test drive in a NASCAR at Charlotte Motor Speedway. He went 180 miles an hour. And one of the best parts about the whole thing is I got to bring my dad and so that was awesome also. In the center of the NASCAR Nation meeting and having a test drive with my favorite NASCAR driver and my dad was there. Talk about perfect. Yeah. Number two is if you could go anywhere for a weekend where would you go? If I had enough money and a car that had more than just two gears in it <laughs> I would go to the Daytona 500 I've always wanted to go to the Daytona 500, and I hope to be able to go someday really soon. Uh, well, not really soon. It's only in February, but you know what I mean. Um, number three is, you've been very open about your religious beliefs lately. Why is that? Well, to be very completely honest, I've been open and outgoing about my religious beliefs and what I believe because I had an awakening, you know, I mean, I was laying in bed one day and the thought of all of this is going to end, this whole, every one day, life is going to end and we're all going to be standing in front of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, being judged, taking account for every single thing that we've done. And the thought of knowing that, you know, you could go to hell, but if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And I prayed a very, very long prayer when I had that moment, and a warmth came over me, a sigh of relief came over me, as if to say, it's okay. And so ever since then I've been very open in hopes of possibly touching and, you know, touching someone to open their eyes to God and to Jesus. So that's why. Number four is, do you consider yourself a good kisser? <laughs> I've never been asked that before, but uh, honestly, I've never gotten any complaints, so I'd have to say yes, I am. Number five is, what is the worst thing someone you care a lot about has done to you? Good question. Um, probably made a promise, shook on it, and even or even made a pinky promise and then broke the promise weeks later or something. You know, breaking a promise to someone you care about is almost like getting kicked in the back of the head with a hammer. So it it just hurts like that, you know? So that would be the worst thing. Um if you could go if you could have anything right now, what would it be? That's question number six. 
and I'd have to say possibly m enough money in my account to where I could fix the transmission and engine in the car that I have right now. It's a 99 Bonneville and it has first and second gear and the transmission is slipping. Still able to get from A to B, but you know, can't go on the freeway. <laughs> uh, number seven is, what are your favorite movies right now? Numbers, uh, I'd have to say, my favorite movies right now are Grown Ups, uh, Pitch Perfect, um, oh gosh, I was just watching it. Cro um, fi Fireproof with uh, Kirk Cameron. Um, oh, there's another one that just came out and I just I rented it and look ah Twilight Breaking Dawn Part Two that was awesome. I'd have to say that's one of the best ones out of the the series. And my other favorite movie I'd have to say is. <laughs> The, the lucky one. <laughs> yeah, so that answers that one. Number eight is what is ACES type when it comes to women? Well, to be honest, I really don't have a type right now. I, I actually have never had a type. I, I, having a type of woman that you want to be with is like judging someone for the flaws that they have. No, you know, so like no, you want someone who doesn't have this, has that, doesn't have this, but everyone has their flaws, and everyone is made in God's image. So therefore, to me, I do not have a type at all. I respect all women, and no matter what, I will always respect women, no matter what. And so therefore, I really don't have a type. Uh, number nine is, what would you like to hear God say when you enter the gates of heaven? Oh, now it's starting to feel like inside the actor studio. <laughs> well, I'm, honestly, I would like him to say, you have tried your hardest and your best, and I'm very proud of your effort. Welcome home. That's what I'd like to hear him say. Number ten has anybody ever mistaken your kindness for creepiness? That happens a, a lot, actually, because of how outgoing I am and how friendly and how forward I am. I mean, I could walk up to a complete stranger and start a conversation. And I say things that come from the heart that I mean, and yet sometimes after I say it, I think about it and I go, should I have said that? Did I make that person feel uncomfortable with what I said or how forward I was? Um, so yes, my kindness and my my politeness can, has been, uh, con uh, what's it called, mistaken for creepiness. Um, but then later when someone gets to know me, they start to see that this person's not creepy. He's just really nice and really, really sweet and caring. So, number 11 is, how many more Ace's Opinion videos are you going to make? I'd have to say about as many as I could think of, depending on, like, you know, I, I don't just make any video right away. Um, if I, the, the name of the videos are called Ace's Opinion. And so, therefore, when I have something in my head and I want to voice my opinion about it, I'll uh, record it. So, look for some to come soon. And you can also check me out on uh, Facebook. I have an artist page. Just search Ace Wilcox, W-I-L-C-O-X. And the profile picture on that page is of me and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Alright? Cool. Um, number 12 is, do you always have a good time when you go out? That's about a 50-50 because, yes, I love going out and hanging out, but sometimes it's just like, you know, I'm out and I really don't feel like my... I, sometimes it's just like, if I have something that's on my mind, it'll affect my... the way I am um, or where I'm... You know, I'll just be not having a good time and yet still smiling, but 
that's only that's rarely ever happens. But so I'd honestly have to say most of the time, yes, I do always have a good time when I go out. Number thirteen is, do you feel nervous when you perform on stage? Well, I've only performed on stage maybe like a a handful of times, and but most but I I go to the Rhino Pub in South Lyon t and do karaoke which is hosted by uh, my buddy LV, and another time it's hosted by my buddy Eric. And so pretty much that's like performing, even though I'm not on stage. And I like performing. I like doing songs, rapping, singing, whatever. And when I'm performing in front of like a crowd, I, I, I thrive on the energy, that vibe of the crowd, and it's awesome. But the first time... I did perform on stage. I thought I was gonna freeze up like Eminem in the beginning of Eight Mile. So <laughs> I've kind of grown off uh, out of that, and I'm really glad I was able to. Number fourteen is if you could have any amount of money right now, how much would you want? <laughs> Man, that that's that's unique. Um, if I could have any amount of money. I'd be good with $25,000 in my account, you know, split it half into savings and half into checking. So, yeah, that would be the amount that I would be happy with. And number 15, which is the last, no, that's not the last question. Why do you hate Justin Bieber so much? <laughs> For those of you who know me, I always crack jokes about the guy. I don't hate him. I just dislike him. Okay, I mean, I was like, you know, in the beginning I thought, okay, cool, a new artist is coming out. And then in Rolling Stone Weekly magazine, they asked him, would you ever consider becoming an American citizen? And he said, no, Americans are evil. And right then and there, I was like, oh, forget you. Because it's us as Americans, in America, should I say, who... But most spend our some of the hard-earned money on his products, his concert tickets, his DVDs, his CDs, and stuff like that. But we're evil. And I know I, I read on on the, in that uh, article, and he was talking about the health care and hospitals and, and uh, the health care uh, part of America. But you know, the health care does not define Americans. Okay. That, so obviously he got that mixed up and should have thought before he spoke. And then one time he was talking to Mojo in the morning on 95.5 FM and they gave him a compliment on his new album and they said, you know, you're matured a lot. Your music is getting better. And I honestly think it reminded me of Justin Timberlake. And Justin Bieber was like, well, I ain't trying to sound like no one. Shut up! He's giving you a compliment. Oh, uh, so pretty much I don't hate him. He just does things that really get under my skin like a like a tick, you know. Uh, and number sixteen, which is the last question: Who is Ace Wilcox? <laughs> that is like the oldest lyric that I ever wrote in a song is Who is Ace Wilcox? I used it <laughs> in my uh, latest song, Life Lessons. But that is a good question, and to answer it, I can say Ace Wilcox is an outgoing, forward, generous, caring, lovable guy, big heart, doesn't judge a book by the cover or color, um, is always there for someone when they need him, when he's able to be there for them. We'll always do whatever we can to make someone laugh. Um, is really great at quoting Jim Carrey lines and uh, has one heck of an excellent collection in NASCAR <laughs> when it comes to Dale Earnhardt, Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin Harvick and stuff. But Ace Wilcox... is 
is the opposite of probably most of every guy you've probably ever met. And he's always happy to make new friends. And is very happy to have every single friend that he has in his life. So that is who Ace Wilcox is. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to Ace Answers Again, a.k.a. Ace Answers All Part 6. Thank you to everyone who uh, sent in a question, and I hope you like the answers. Again, remember to check out Ace's Opinion, uh, the new series of videos that I have on YouTube.com. If you like what you see, feel free to send me a request on Facebook or check out my artist page. It's Ace Wilcox with A-C-E. W-I-L-C-O-X. My name is Ace Wilcox. Thank you so much, and may God bless you.